Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So we are gonna start a kick on these 3D letters. <laughs> so this one is about eight inches high and I think six inches across, but it is, I mean, it's super cute. It's great for party decor. You can see, I like this designer because it's a thicker feel. Um, it just gives it more balance. It's very stable and steady. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna balance it that well on my hand, but you could see that it, it, it's um, substantial and it would be great for party decor. So, all right, let's put this down. I'm gonna show you how you actually do it. So I bought the file and so I just wanna show you what it looks like. We're gonna try, I'm gonna show you how to size it as big as possible. Um, I have a lot of ideas for these 3D letters. I want to do an off the mat 3D letter, so not be limited by this size. Um, but today I'm gonna show you how to maximize that size. Um, but I also want to do everything that we've been doing with cake toppers and stuff like that, like your shakers and your lights and um, all the extra stuff that we add on it. Similar to this, like all the embellishments, we're going to be doing it like it's a cake topper because most likely it's going to be for party decor, right? Or for someone's bedroom that's purchasing it and wants all this extra stuff. So um, first things first, it does not come with the, the middle letter or the inside letter. And in this case, it doesn't come, it's teal, you see that layer, this layer back here? It does not come with that, so we have to create it, okay? So let's, sh I'll show you the file and we'll go into Inkscape, all right? So first up is, this is by Nilmara Quintella um, on Etsy, so I bought it. I went for the $18 purchase because that one includes the letters and numbers and I figured, if you're gonna buy one and you're gonna be making them, I'm probably gonna need both. So just like any other site, Etsy, Creative Fabrica, font bundles, um, anytime that you buy a, a digital file, you wanna go into your purchases or where you can download, I mean, it should say. And then right here, I'm gonna download the file, which I've already downloaded. So I'll go and show you where it is. Um, so in my downloads, here it is. So it's usually, they'll come with different formats, right? Your SVG file, your PNG, JPEG, and some other stuff. So it comes zipped, so you wanna double click on it. So here are our letters. So because I bought the extra, right? It comes with accents and signs, like question mark and exclamation mark, letters and numbers. So let's do a letter today. Let's double click on that. So here are all our different letters. Um, Let's do, let's do the letter K. So I'm gonna double click on that. I want the SVG file, so I'm gonna double click on that again. Okay, here you have two options. You have a single line score and a dashed line score. Anywhere that you see a fold, I prefer, and I it was recommended to me, to get the dashed line score. So instead of scoring um, using the scoring tool or a debossing or embossing tool, um, instead of just having a crease line, it's actually dotted cut lines and it helps you fold it and gives you the crisp corners. So you can see this, I mean, the corners are really good. It's not sloppy at all. So I would recommend you doing the dash line score. So let's pull that out and put it into our desktop. Now let's go into Inkscape. All right, so I have it open. Now, if you're hesitant, don't worry because I don't know how to do anything in Inkscape but this. Um, but I feel like it really enhances our projects. So it, these steps are really, really easy. So don't turn it off, just watch it, give me a chance. So let's go to File, Import, and get our cut letter, where is it? Here it is. Mm, and I wanted the letter K, right? Okay, here it is. So I'm gonna double click on it, just click okay. So it's here, I'm gonna, oh, make sure it's locked. So I'm gonna make it bigger so we can see it. And I've noticed it comes in a, in a very light color. So I'm just gonna go to my paint bucket and make it blue so I can see everything, okay? All right, so let's hit our arrow. And you see this is selected, right? I don't want it selected. So click in an empty space and then now nothing is selected. Now go hit the paint bucket, go hit a different color, 
and I'm going to show you what an offset looks like, okay? So normally I do 20, I'll do 20 and 40, or 10, 20, 30. So it's up to you once you get a feel for what it looks like. This is a 20 offset. So you can see a lot of the outline, but it's not like too much. I, I like starting at 20. I feel like that's a good starting point. So I'm so you hit uh, 20 up here. That's how much it's gonna grow by. We don't want it to grow, but I want you to sh I want to be able to show you the difference. So then you click on the K and you see how much bigger it is compared to this one. So that's an offset. It gave you that back layer. It's not what we want, so it's okay. We're gonna go click our arrow again, and we're gonna click in the empty space. We're gonna hit the paint bucket. We're gonna do a different color, but this time, instead of growing by a growing, we're gonna be shrinking, so we're gonna have a negative sign. So let's do negative 20, and then hit tab so that it updates, and then we're gonna click on this K. And you see, oh, look how pretty that is. <laughs> that's gonna give us the inside cut that's gonna go over our um, 3D letter. Now, let's do another one just so that you can see what it looks like. So click the arrow, empty space, paint bucket, pick another color, and let's shrink it by double, negative 40, okay? And let's click here. Now. I feel like that distracts. I mean, that K now looks like a funky H. <laughs> so let's undo that, edit, undo. Let's see if negative 30 helps, okay? It's still not looking like a crisp, pretty K. So I'm gonna edit, undo. Let's see if we can do it by negative 25. That's slightly okay, but I really, I don't think we need it, okay? All right, so let's just undo. Now you want your arrow, grab everything on this screen, go to path, object to path, and then file, save as. So I'm gonna do um, three, oops, 3D letter K um, minus 20, so that I just remember, and save. All right, let's go to Cricut. Um, I'm gonna do a new project just so that we can have a lot of space. Go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse, and we're going to find, um, what did I call it? Oh, I called it 3D. 3D letter K, here it is. Double click on it. Here it is, we're good. Click Save. And then click on it to insert the image. Okay, so here is our mat. Um, let's just make it a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. All right, so the letter K, the way it's drawn up is it's saying start with a triangle here. So with this length, this is your K right here. Clearly, this next piece is not going down here, right? It's the longest piece. It's going down this one and then across. So this piece is literally just this, this, and this, okay? This piece says to start at the square. So that piece is this. Then, to me it's obvious because this piece feels longer than this piece. So it must be this piece is the long piece here and then it ends. So it's that middle piece and then down and up. And then this piece is starts here, and one piece goes this way, and goes two ways, doop, doop, and then this one just goes this way, which is this piece. All right, so that's it. Um, and these pieces, wherever you see the dotted score line, it's actually a cut line, and that's where you fold it. So I know I'm, I have a different letter in my hand, but that's how it would go. Um, so you can see the strips, they're not, you can fit a lot of them on one sheet of paper but you're limited by size, right? We can't, this, this um, length can't be more than 11.5. So let's see what we have right now. Let's grab this whole thing and ungroup it. Okay, we definitely don't need this. I'm just gonna get rid of it. We do need this because you have a front side and a back side. So we need a double of that inside K, right? So I'm gonna duplicate it just so that we have it here and ready to go. And if it helps you at all and you wanna flip this, just go to flip and flip horizontal and then it'll, it'll look perfect that way. Just 
if you need it for your head. <laughs> All right, so this guy, let's see. So we need to we need to grab this and ungroup it some more. Okay. So they look like they're pretty equal in length. So at 7.6, we still have a couple inches to go. Right now our letter is only three and a half by four and a half basically. So let's stretch this out a little bit more. So this, I'm gonna grab these three and what I like to do is I'm gonna rotate it so that that way I can see how tall it is. We can easily adjust that. So now I'm gonna grab all of this, okay? And I'm gonna go to align and do bottom align. All right, so this is gonna make it easy because we know this length is 7.6. So let's grab everything and make the height 11.5. Okay, and then I'm gonna shrink the page for a second so we don't have to scroll up and down. Um, okay, so at 11 and a half, um, let's see how big our K is. Our K is now 6.7 inches high by five. So it's just a little bit smaller than this. This ended up being eight inches by six. So it's about an inch behind. But if you remember how design space measures, so this one is only 11.1, .1. this is 11 and a half, Okay, so this is our biggest piece right here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull him down. Now the way Design Space measures height is the most top part minus the difference between the top, the most top and the most bottom, right? So if I twist this like this, then now my most top is right here and my most bottom is here. It's only 9.5 by 8.9 isn't that awesome so that means if i put this back up here i can now grab everything and look at my height my height is now actually all of now this is the shorter piece right so i can move this I can twist this as well i'm gonna twist all of them actually okay um, let's look at this. Okay. So that's 10 and some. Okay, that's 8.8. .8. So this, let's see, nine and a half. Okay, so I can turn this a little bit more. Okay, so now this is nine. All right, so I'm gonna grab all of these again and do bottom align or align bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna change my height to 11.5. This is gonna give us a lot of more, um, a lot bigger letter, okay? So now this piece, let's zoom out for a second. It's 11.1 .1 by 11, so I can cut that on the Cricut, right? Um, this one is 10.7 by 11 and a half, so I'm still good there. 10 point something by 10 point something, awesome. Now let's see how big our K is. Our K is now, eight inches by six. So it's literally the same size as this, which is the same size as my face. <laughs> so it's sizable, right? Um, we could technically probably go a little bit bigger. So right now our biggest piece is still this guy, right? So let's see if we can turn it just a little bit more. Okay, so now it's 11.25, let's see, okay. Uh, it's just going to give us a little 11.11. So let's just grab everything. So you select all here, change the height to 11.5. I mean, this is just like baby steps. If you really wanted a specific height though, or a specific look, then this is how you would go about it without any seams in it. Okay. So now our K is a little bit over eight inches and six. This is as good as it's going to get. Okay. Let's go to the make it screen and see what it looks like. Okay, so it says one of our images is larger than 11 and a half. That's fine. Let's just click okay and see what we have. So here are our two Ks, the middle Ks. Here is our first mat. Okay, and the first thing that I notice is my dotted lines are all gone, right? So let's hit cancel. Let's go back to here. So what we wanna do is, and I noticed these little 
we don't need these little suggestions. We can kind of tell from here though, like where everything goes, right? So let's ungroup that and get rid of the little cut lines. Um, you can just do it from up here. Delete, highlight, delete, highlight, delete. Okay, now this guy, I wanna make sure that the dotted lines and everything is exactly where it should be. So I'm gonna attach. So that guy's done. Let's grab this one attach and then let's grab this one and attach all right now let's go to the make it screen <clears throat> excuse me all right now it's looking good here it is with my cut lines and it's already on the mat so we are wasting some paper right this is to make it big um if we made it just the height is 11 and a half and we went this way you could fit all three pieces on one, right? So that would save you a lot of space. And if you did that, probably your two big Ks would probably fit on one as well. But I mean, it's not a lot of paper. It's um, six sheets of paper. So it's up to you how you wanna do it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Let's hit cancel. And if you remember, if you don't like this, just twist them back up, make them standing. Oh, Cause I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. To undo it is super, super fast. So I'm gonna do this, make this straight. So this is if you're trying to save paper, okay? <laughs> Grab it all, align, bottom align and then change the height from 14.19 to 11.5. So if you do that, what did we go from eight, eight by six K to a six and a half by five. So if you're okay with this look, let's go ahead and make it screen so you can see what it looks like. Oh, it still twisted these for some reason. That's weird. Okay, so this is what we can do. Um, Let's look at this one. So we could actually fit this, hit the three dots, move object. Let's move it to this K. I'm gonna flip it on its side. Move it down. Then I'm gonna grab this one, click on it, three dots, move object. I'm gonna move it with this guy. So we went from six sheets to three sheets, okay? So let's turn this, or four sheets. Oh, what happened? Why is it not letting me? Well, either way, this is two, right? So we have one sheet, two, three. So we went from six to three. We went from an eight by six letter down to a five, like a seven, six, almost seven inch letter. So you lost about an inch, but you saved three sheets of paper. <laughs> so just another way to think about it and kind of get that balance of where you wanna be. Um, all right, thank you so much. Remember, I have a lot of ideas for this. I think we can add a shaker to this. We can add lights to it. We can add lots of layers. And I also think if you're into quilling at all, that the outline of this shape will give you the outline of the letters if you wanted to do like more square letters um i am also going to be trying that so if you didn't hear your idea on that list that i just gave you then post your comment or questions and then if you have once you post your request also email it to me with more details so it's ann a n at the useless .com, and i would love to help you because i think that um when you do your own specific project, then you can learn and really recreate it and take that um, knowledge and apply it to your future projects. All right, thanks guys, bye. Ah. Now bye.